Hey guys, I just finished up uh, my 12S 2P battery uh, using Samsung 40T batteries, which are great uh, for electric skateboarding. That's what all the new skateboards are using, the Meepos, um, and I think Backfire is it. Um, so they're using 10S 2P for their smaller boards. I actually got one here. Yeah, there we go. So I've got the own board. Sorry, own board has a 40T. So this is a 10S um, 2P with uh, 21700 batteries, Samsung 40T. The reason why you use those is because um, the cells have a maximum continuous output of 35 amps and also 45 amps if you're under 85 degrees Celsius. So most like 45, de uh, most likely 45 amps. Now that gives you on a 10S 2P or 12S 2P that gives you a double 35 or 45. So uh, 45 times 90 amps all right that's a ton of power for a 10s 2p or 12s uh, 2p of uh, 12s 2p so this is great this is also 300 watt hours so on a small board this is going to give you like 20 25 mil miles on a big board uh like a uh more powerful it's going to be a little bit less maybe like 12 to like 17 miles but um i think it's all the future electric uh, skateboard is going to use 21700 batteries because it's slightly longer um, but it's it gives you so much more for example what people use right now is a, the Samsung 30Q um, which only has maximum continuous output of 15 amps all right uh, and people are saying you can take it up to 20 but this is almost more than double all right that's why also your battery size is going to be smaller uh, for the same capacity now I am charging this, um, so the nominal voltage for 12S 2P is 42 volts. Uh, battery f battery at full will be about 50.3 volts. So I just started charging it, and uh, once it charges up, this is a 50.4 uh, battery charger, 50.4 volts. So when it charges up, it's going to turn green, and a bunch of these LEDs going to light up. Now, as far as this BMS, this is a, a 6S2, like a 6, 16S or 17S uh, BMS. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, so, this will allow you to uh, build a battery 10S, um, 12S, whatever. Um, basically, you just don't use the wires. If, for example, this is up to 16S, but I'm only using up to 12S, so I have four wires, or 17S, sorry. So I have five wire, wires that not, I'm not using. Um, all these other wires are hooked up to the plus of uh, each of the pairs, all right? Um, so once it powers up, once it hits 50.4, if I wired everything right, all of the lights will, uh, uh, the LEDs will turn on. And um, this will go at about 50.3 volts, just under 50.4, which is what the BMS does. It basically balances. So each of the pair of the cells or whatever, uh, if you're using 12S 3P, then there'll be triple pairs or I'm sorry. Uh, or if you're using 12S 4P, it will be quadruple. Um, all of those batteries will be um, charged. Now you just need... Um, you can use this for 12S 1P, 12S 2P, 12S 3P, 12S 4P. Um, the only difference is that you have the batteries in parallel when you when you go from 12S 1P, 12S 2P, 12S 3P. Or you could also obviously use it for 10S uh, 2P. Now 10S uh, BMS are a lot easier to find. The reason why I'm using the adjustable one is because it's hard to find a 12S um, BMS. So this one... I've already tested on my 12S 1P and works really good. Um, again, when this is done charging and everything's okay, I'm going to shrink wrap it. Um, and you can see what I do is I basically uh, hot glue everything after doing the ends. The reason is that when it vibrates, um, the soldering might come off. But by uh, also applying some uh, hot glue here, you're able to... Uh, able to keep it on and also after you shrink wrap it this is all going to be all tight and it's going to prevent it from coming off when you're hitting stuff or when you're riding um, so little things you really got to pay attention to 
Um, I do have a full tutorial that I'm going to upload uh, also for 12S1P and the 12S2P. And the instructions are pretty much same for 18650. Uh, this is just using the 21700 batteries. And the BMS is actually for 18650, but you can also use it for any kind of other batteries, 21700, uh, whatever. This one, um, the BMS is rated for 40 amps maximum. So what the problem is if um, so I'm not running the actual power off the BMS so you can see that my power wire actually goes straight from the battery minus and the plus um, and I bypass the BMS. The reason why you want to bypass the BMS is because this whole battery pack is rated for 90 amps a maximum continuous power. Now if I had hooked it up to the P uh, which is normally the way you do it. The problem is, um, let's say I'm going super fast on my new Mad Max uh, skateboard and I go over 40 amps, which is this BMS is rated for. What will happen is the BMS will completely shut down. The motors will shut down. It will send you flying. So in the DII world, uh, we do a lot of bypassing, which keeps everything safer. And what you do is you go into VESC, uh, whatever controller you're using, and you can go ahead and set the uh, maximum uh, battery uh, current, right? And you can set it so if uh, you could set it there, so I can go ahead and set the VESC so it will cut off at around 90 amps. Now to be safe for this particular battery pack, it's going to be have to be around 70 amps, which is the rated uh, that's for the total rating. Now, 90 amps is if the temperature is under 85 degrees Celsius. Now, most of the time, your battery is going to be um, under that uh, limit, that temperature limit. Now, another thing you can do is obviously install a temperature um, sensor and also, um, you know, monitor temperature and do that. So that's my next step. I don't actually know what the temperature of the battery is at, but I mean... Um, so I bypass the, the BMS. The good thing is that if it does go over 40 amps, I'm good. If it, uh, I'll have to control that in VESC. So I could set it to, let's say, 70 amps. Um, if it goes over 70 amps, the VES will automatically um, slow down the skateboard instead of shutting everything off. Um, so I've already tested this on my smaller batteries and they were great. Uh, bypass is the recommended route. And especially for belt driven motors, that's what will happen. Now, if you're using hub motors, it doesn't really matter because uh, once your battery shuts off, if the motor shuts off, the good thing with hub motors is that uh, there's no uh, friction. There's no uh, torque uh, with the like the belts. So your motors just keep spinning. So that's another advantage to doing uh, using hub motors. Anyway, I'll have a full tutorial guide on how to make this. Um, but yeah, I just want to share some of the stuff I've been doing. Um, you know, it takes about a... But it took me like a week and a half because I, I didn't work on it every day. I just uh, work on it every day, but uh, maybe a couple hours a day, maybe three hours for three days. So maybe like nine hours work, you can build a battery like this. I mean, because you, you really got to do, you know, you got to solder everything, um, spot weld, uh, and then you got to put everything together. You got to be really careful. This You're working with high voltage. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more um, cool DIY and other reviews I'm going to upload.